Hello, Acho. Let's see that the question. The question says a circular coil of 1000 tons with area 1 meter square is rotated about its vertical diameter at a rate of 1 revolution per second in a uniform horizontal magnetic field of 0 0.07 Tesla. The maximum voltage generation will be. So, here we simply we are saying that a circular coil. ओके okay, इस तरीके से एक सर्कुलर कॉइल है जिसमें नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स कितना दे रखा है n is equals to 1000 के इक्वल एंड एरिया टू बी रोटेटेड इज 1 मीटर स्क्वायर की जिसको घुमाया जाता है वर्टिकल डायमीटर रेट ऑफ वन रिवॉल्यूशन इनटू दिस यूनिफॉर्म हॉरिजॉन्टल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जिसका मान भी हमें दे रखा है b is equals to 1 0.07 Tesla के बराबर। तो जो भी maximum voltage generation होगा into the coil, वो हमें calculate करना है। तो चलिए start करते हैं solution से। But before of it, let's talk about the key concept which we are going to use here for this question. So since we remember that the maximum voltage generated into the coil having the number of terms n, magnetic field B and area S given by B into A into N into Omega. So, let's start from here. Start karte hai, finally, uh, calculation. Se. So, first of all, we will formula that E maximum or epsilon maximum is equal to B times of A times of N. Now, what is Omega? So, Omega basically is indicate karta hai, ki usko vertically uh, diameter ke across the at a rate of 1 revolution per second. So, omega ka uh, formula kya hota hai? 2 pi by t. Omega is nothing but equals to 2 pi by t. So, 2 pi by t kitna hai 1 second. So, a simply kitna ho jayenga 2 pi by 1 that is 2 pi k. Ab hum values ko substitute karayenge. So, magnetic field yaha pa kitna de raka hai? 0 0.07 tesla multiply by area 1 meter ka square multiply by uh, number of turns hume de raka hai 1000 multiply by 2 pi k equal so 7 to the 14 14 uh, so ye kitna ho jayega 0.14 yani ke 140 aur yahan par bach ke aa raha tha pi so ye simply 140 pi k equal ho jayega aur approximately yadi hum value of pi ko substitute kare jo ke hota hai 22 by 7 okay so isko hum yahan par is tarike se likh sakte hain 140 into 22 by 7 so 7 to the 14, so 20 ho gaya, so 20 to the 440, so ye ho jayenga 440 ke uqwa. So simply yaha par hum bol sakte hain ki jo maximum induced EMF hai in the coil is nothing but equals to 440 volt and therefore this is going to be the required answer which we had solved by using the concept of maximum EMF in the coils. So this is the required solution. I hope you understood it well. Best of luck. Thank you.